Nara Alkanu sits with her two young children in Han Yunus's Nasser Hospital in the southern part of the Gaza Strip on Monday. Her son Amjad is suffering from malnutrition and Ahmed has testicular cancer. Originally from the north, Alkano says she has been trying to facilitate medical evacuation for some time now and recently received a call telling her a transfer would go ahead. I didn't believe it, she says about the call. I said, this is impossible. The Rafa crossing is closed and under siege. How can we get out? The World Health Organization has been unable to carry out medical evacuations from Gaza since the closure of the Rafa crossing in early May. Through coordination with the WHO, the two boys are to be transferred out of Gaza for medical treatment through the Karem Shalom crossing. Dr. Ahmad Al-Farah told Reuters that nearly 50,000 patients were in need of transfer. Some of them malignant diseases, cancer, some of them metabolic diseases, some of them immune deficiency diseases, and uh, uh, of course some of them injured by the explosive injury that they got in the war. Another Palestinian mother, Samira, has been told her daughter Jory will also be transferred out. Jory had to stop chemotherapy when the war began, and now is one of many thousands who suffer from malnutrition. It's the most difficult of situations to not be able to provide the necessary nutrition for a child. There's no food for her body, only canned food. There's no fruit to give her or vegetables to get for her, and if there is, it's all unimaginably expensive. So thank God that she will be able to travel to get medical treatment and eat more food than we have here. A group of UN-led agencies estimates that around 7% of Gazan children may be acutely malnourished, compared with 0.8% before the Israel-Hamas conflict began on October 7th. Israel's offensive has killed more than 37,400 people in the Hamas-ruled Palestinian territory, according to health authorities there. It launched its assault after Hamas fighters stormed across the border into southern Israel on October 7th, killing around 1,200 people and taking more than 250 people hostage, according to Israeli tallies.